Hey, welcome back to another episode of Skyrim Special Edition. And in this episode, we're going to cover how you can get rich pretty fast. Uh, that is, if you can get to Solstein pretty fast. Uh, so, what we're going to do is going to start the Death Brand uh, quest. And so, what you're going to do is you're going to come over to this location called Hagnar Shoal, that is northeast of Windstone. And so, once you get to this location, you're going to see a camp and some pirates. You're going to kill the pirate captain, and it'll have the uh, Death Brand map on him. Okay, I've already acquired that. Um, so, what we're going to do is, you should right off the bat see this chest, but that is the first chest for the Death Brand map. Uh, oops, hold on. Let me show you the map real quick. Here it is. All right. So that is the first one right there that you see on the screen. And then we're going to the second one. The second one is going to be on the left side, on the west side. And you're going to see this like crack on the map, that little drawing right there. That's where we're going to go. We're going to open up the map, go to the west side. And then as you can see right here, there's going to be that crack. All right, so we're going to go to start to Waterstone. <clears throat> All right, and once you get to Waterstone, uh, let's make this faster. I'm gonna pull them all back. All right, and then all we're gonna do is we're gonna head north to uh, the second chest, and I'm gonna speed this up so you're not gonna sit through all this. Okay, and so once you've gotten to this location, you're going to see a waterfall right here in these creatures. Uh, all you're going to do basically is just go from the water stone, head to the bottom, and then ride on the coast until you see this puddle right here, and you're going to see the second chest. And I should also note, forgot to note this earlier, I should also note that once you get into these chests, you're going to get Death Brand Armor, which is Stalhem Armor. Um, I've already collected all these. So, and I don't really need the armor because I have uh, armor, specific armor for my character. Anyways, so once you've gotten to this location, you're going to find it. There should be like some uh, Reeklings and some Mud Crabs, but they're, they'll be easy to take out. Alright, and so once you've gotten to that location, which is, uh, if you're still having trouble, it's going to be right here. Alright, let me show you the map once more for the third chest. So this time we're going to be going south, alright? So you're going to see right here this like piece of land right here that goes long ways, and you're going to go up right there, alright? Show on the map. And it'll be right here generally in lo this location. So we're going to go to the earth stone. <clears throat> okay, and so once you've gotten to the Earth Stone, what you gonna do? Marvac, if you have them, make this faster, and you're going to head north. Now I'm gonna speed this up again. All right. So it's a very short trip this time. So, uh, like I said, have from there's the water stone right there, and you're going to I, I think it's a water stone, and then you're going to head north uh, across this coast, and you're gonna see some trees, these critters, uh, and then some shovels, and then here is the third chest. All right, there, and they give you more of a about the land. There's a boat right here, and then there is a tower right there. All right. And there it is on the map. Alright. So now for the fourth and final chest. And this is not the end of the video for when we find the last chest. Because it goes into more. And that's where you get most of the riches. If you uh, don't want the Stalhram armor, you can just sell it for some gold. <clears throat> anyway, so here's the fourth chest right here. 
to this waterway. So we're gonna be right there. <clears throat> what you're going to do is see if there's a waterway. You're going to go to Tel Mithrin. And then you're going to head west. Alright. And I've already passed the chest on purpose because I want to show you this waterway. To give you a better uh, example where it is. Alright, so there is the rider. I forgot what they're called. But there is the waterway right here. And you're going to, once you get to right here, you're going to head right over here with this pile of rocks. And it's like basically facing towards Telmethrin. You're going to see some dead people. And you're going to open the chest. And once you've gotten this chest open, you're going to see the fourth and final uh, set of armor. And you're going to find a key. Once you get that key, it's going to tell you uh, to come over here to Guildenhall Borough. <clears throat> And I had already, uh, I before I even started this quest, I already saw this place and I lock picked it open. So this part you don't need the key, but if you've already been here, um, but you will need the key for the riches. Okay, so once you've gotten in here, you're going to get a dragger. You're going to see a dead body on your left is some stallrim. If you want to go and mine that. But on the right, you're going to see Stalkrim, and that's where you're going to want to go if you just want to go through this uh, quest. Alright, so I'm going to speed this up because it takes a while for, uh, to mine Stalkrim. Okay, so once you've gotten through this, head left. And this is the door that's going to require you to have the key. So open it up with the key. And in this room, you're going to see a bunch of riches. So you're going to see a chest. Uh, and you can uh, use the key to open up the chest, so don't worry. Uh, door lock behind you, don't worry about that. You can get out. And then you're going to see piles of gold. You can go ahead and collect all of them. I've already collected all of them in another save. And so once you've gotten that done, require a key. Open it up. Head down here. All right, and then you're going to see a room, and what that means is that you're probably going to fight someone. So let me go ahead and get all my shouts ready. Call of Power, okay. And then let me get my weapon. All right, so you're going to go up to this uh, stairs, and you're going to see a dead body. Cool. You're going to pick up the sword. Search him, 250 gold, cool. Uh, treasure chest right here, and an urn right there. <clears throat> Go ahead and get your weapon out. And then, yeah. So you're gonna fight this guy, obviously. <clears throat> <clears throat> Uh, and so you're gonna hit him a couple times and then he'll disappear and then all you got to do is fight uh, his crewmates uh, Don't worry there. It should be super easy And so once you've taken out his crew for this set uh, He'll come back and then you can hit him a little bit more and then it's just rinse and repeat really Okay, once you fi uh, finish that, uh, he should spawn right here in front of me. Uh, but that's only, you can just like, heavy hit him and then he'll go away. Uh, so that was only like, after the first crewmates that you defeated. Oh, where is he at? Anyways, uh, so yeah, he'll spawn down there. If you just want to make it faster. So once you defeat his crewmate. He should be spawning right over here. Oh, well, after you defeat these people.
Alright, here he is. And this should be the last time that he runs away. And you just go ahead and finish him off. Alright, and so once you have <clears throat> once you have defeated him, his ghost remains will be right here. Open uh or search him, and then you get this and another sword. Um if you want to use a sword, it's cool. And then once you've done that, the door will open up and you can just leave. Alright, well I hope that this uh, episode helped you, and I'll see you on the next one.